Welcome back to Light Talks. We're here out in Sydney. We've got me, Kieran, aka King K. Hi, I'm Haz, aka Big Haz, aka Big Money. Sorry, Haz Money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Big Money, baby. Does that mean we restart? No, 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 no I like it. I like it. I like it. We're in Sydney. I'm missing um, I'm also Kieran, aka Kezbom, aka Denim Jesus. <laughs> Jordana, aka K Jojo. That's Wait. it. We had Let There Be Light recently, that was volume three. So it's an event where we have a match from the hat, so you can just pull some names out, as well as some exhibition battles. The match from the hat battles, um, we had some pretty live things go off. So Turf was one of our battle guests for the exhibition battles, but he also wanted to go blood in match in the hat too. So uh, he chucked himself in the hat as well. So we had Turf versus KLs, Scotland versus Wales. UK, see what's going to happen. Um, yeah, we're just going to watch that, react. None of us have seen it yet, apart from what we saw it on a day. They've not seen it at all. Um, let's do it. He's actually won the last two light like, fest hip hop battles. Um, now he's getting into light like, beat, and I guess it's one of his debuts. He's kind of got like a, like Josh when he's trained a bit more. Fresh. So the hip hop dancers out here who are doing light feet, as they learn to mold some of their stuff, I feel like they'll be able to fit that kind of bubble too. Yeah, it's pretty clear that, yeah, yeah. So what did you think of the battles right now? I thought it was sick, both of them were sick. They're both tight. <laughs> He's been so careful with his words. <laughs> but facts though, both were really good. Els is someone we've seen in the life feet world battling on a regs now. So it was like a usual type of thing, like combos, rounds, musicality, just yeah, usual. But what was nice, Turf is uh, fresh in the light feet game, but already very established in hip hop. And he's finding those ways to sort of incorporate the two and what he lacks in light feet foundation, he sort of is able to make up for, so. Yeah, I think he held himself well in those rounds. Yeah. I think it's sick to see like a hip hop dancer transition to light feet so it can inspire hip hop dancers that want to give it a try and how they would adapt it. So I think it was really cool to see him get into it. Yeah. It's cool to see like two completely different styles go up against each other, but like from such similar places. And yeah, I feel like the scene here is like very reflective of that battle. You have some people who are like more technical and some people who are like less technical but have ideas you've never seen before. I don't know, that was, that was a good battle. Like, that was... Yeah, that was a really good battle. Yeah, she obviously is like just ticked all the boxes. Very clean set, even all the ankle stuff, a bit like powerful. Um, but that other dude, um, what was his name, Turf? Yeah. He's gonna be a problem when he fucking like trains it a bit more. Cause you can see like, obviously, as you say, he's come from the hip hop, all the concepts, once it like, 
once he brings it all together, he's going to be an absolute problem. Um, sick. That was fucking mad. Give him like a couple <laughs> months or whatever, he'll be a fucking mess. Yeah, nah, yeah. for sure. Oh, so right now we're about to go to the Vomby Boys Battle. Those fuck, I've actually watched a couple of these, as you can see. Oh, they were really good, but which ones do you want to... Which one do you want to watch right now? What's something you've not watched? Uh, can I make a suggestion? Because there's one here that I really want to watch, but I haven't seen. I want to watch Shaq Star vs Big H. Done. Yeah, let's do that. Go, let's do that. Especially because you guys were talking about Shark Star earlier. I'm like, I need to see this shit. First off, big ups to fucking Big H. Like, we've been following for a while. That dude yeah, is fucking like, crazy. Like, a You're fresh, bro. So this was Vomi Boys' first event, Vomi Worlds. Uh, I think they did an incredible job. They invited dance, well, battler guests for the battles from all over the UK. Peeps popped out from all over the UK and yeah. Now, I think UK is like massive compared to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at all the people already fucking. I full thought this was in New York when I was first there. That's insane. Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> fucking come to Sydney. We need this shit. <laughs> That's your opening bar, like. Oh, he's chilling. <laughs> He's chilling. Yeah, I need a fucking breath after that, like, backflip set, though, as well, eh? So I'm just gonna swag out for a second. That was sick. That's all of us in Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> just dying in the back. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. Sick, sick first round. Shaq Star has only been about for a few years, but like in terms of UK level, like he's already taken those steps to be a top dog. So shouts to Shaq Star right there. Who's he rap? Too real. We're, we're PG when the kids are around. Damn, I didn't take note on that, eh? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, this guy's spanky. So natural, I feel. Just natural spanky. Sick. Yeah, that was fresh. Sick. Nah, that was fucking mad. <laughs> Woo! This is a sick fucking battle, eh? Round one. Oh. <laughs> you have something to say? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I just love that move. Every time I just have to see that move. It just, it reminds us of home. <laughs> Shout out, Big Has next to me. He fucking hates this beat. <laughs> I, don't hate this, I don't hate this beat. It's Shout good. out to the producer. It's goofy as fuck, though. It sounds like one of those first day on Sorry, it Sorry, it fucking... <laughs> what was that? He chose this song, so you're here. Oh, true. Woo! Nice. Bro has the biggest power moves, eh, for light feet. It's like very reminiscent of old hype star, which is fucking mad. 
How old is he? 18. Nah, get out of here. Big page first, man. Woo! Uh, Maz needs to work his way up. One of you lot, big H, but Maz needs to work his way up. What about the two H's versus each other? I'd like to see that. That's more like I would actually really love to see that battle. And like respectfully as well, because you're fucking huge, Big H. That set's crazy. Yeah, that, that was mad. I'll battle you, but I don't really want him. <laughs> <laughs> Just Yo, that. UK would be taking off their shirts. They are ready. They're like, shout out to the ladies or something. Naked. Cold, cold, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. The room was hot. The room was hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the MC? Uh, oh, Shintastic and Rufba. Hey, he was getting funky with it. Nah, this guy's got mad spank. Fuck, how do you even judge this? Because they're like such different dancers. Because these were showcases, right? Yeah. So it's like the internet decides. Exactly. Okay. The internet shall decide. Well, I've got the internet to my right. We'll see what you think. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are your thoughts, Az? <laughs> hey. Hey. That's what I think Australian Life Eat lacks, is the ability to like, just swag out like that and just still keep it in Life Eat, you know what I mean? I feel like we, we're at that level where we just have to try and, we're trying to just keep it to full work, but like spanky moments like that is what we could learn. Um, anyways, just as a viewer, it was just a fucking sick battle. I mean, Big H obviously has such cool moments, like he's really good at making a moment. And like when he's doing his spanky stuff, he's really good at bringing the people in. Um, like how he had that bounce moment in the first set. Like everyone straight away was like on that shit. Shaq Star just has like really good spank as well. Able to do not too much and just kind of like keep it mad cool. Cool footwork as well. There was like, I think a lot of details that went over everyone's heads. Like it's easier to watch now, obviously on video that you can kind of dissect it in the moment. It's just more hype, but yeah. Fucking big ups to both come to Sydney. That'd be fucking <laughs> sick. Just, I'm just going to say that after every video it comes, come to Sydney. That shit is come sick. Sydney. Okay, yeah. what do you actually think? How do you? How if do you? If I was a judge at that battle, I'd be doing these ones. So. And the organizer would hate you. Yeah, Karen, <laughs> Karen would hate me. We'd be running late, but um, I don't know. That first fucking, that opening from Big H was like fucking, like a one bar, like spit one lyric. Everyone's like, "Blap, it's fucked." <laughs> I was, I was, <laughs> that was insane. But um, yeah, fuck, I don't even, I don't know, like. I, I'm honestly stumped. I wouldn't know what. Sick event. I wish I saw that shit live, to be honest. Um, Next time, coming through? Yeah, bring us out, fly us out. <laughs> um, we only fly first class, you know what I mean? Yes. Um, fucking, nah, joking. We actually do want to come out. Hold an event. We're going to try and pull up to Light Fest next year. So hold an event around that time. Let's link up and do the thing. And we'll fucking battle whoever and we'll try our best. <laughs> I'll battle everyone. Nah, Big H versus uh, fucking Has Money, though. I'm oh, wanting to watch yeah. that shit yeah. for sure. Seven to smoke or well, first mate. You're seeing Light Feet Awards having their producer battles. And if you don't fuck with J Black's beat, maybe you and J Black. Yeah, yeah no, nah, that'd be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's that sick. That would be interesting. Nah, I'll fuck with your beats, J Black. I just don't know about that one, eh? That's all right. You can't win, over, you can't win everyone <laughs> nah, with everything. Everyone else likes it, though. Everyone else will be dancing to it, though. So it's like... Yeah, we're just random cunts from Sydney. Don't worry about us. Don't worry about Seeing that live like, was sick. And the whole event as well, like, big up to Vomi Boys, because it was so smooth, their first event. Yeah, it was just sick. And... I'm so excited for the next one. So, yeah. Yeah, Vomi just came, like, it seemed like Vomi just came out of fucking nowhere. Like, it was just mm. a mad, a mad venue. I was like, venue, mad event. <laughs> like, yeah, shout out to the venue. <laughs> now, Vomi boys are sick. We see you over here in Sydney. We're fucking mad fans, and I want one of them caps. Yeah, it has 12 months, yeah. So, we've already had five events in the UK in one year, and we're only in November. Like, 
like right now it is insane like uh i'm not even i'm talking about uk man give me a chance like <laughs> yeah so i'm just Where super super gassed that vomi are doing their thing we had the two real event obviously we've got the main light fest and then let there be light but right now it's like what a time to be in light feet in europe because yeah active yeah, so real. and to have the, the events all have sick battles like this like you could have bare events and it's like they're a bit dry, but yeah. yeah. It seems like there's still so many people that I like don't know about in the in light feet too. Like every every time I every time there is an event and seeing as there's so many, it's like see all these names I've never heard of before and just be like, Oh, this like these guys are all sick, like yeah, and do you know what's annoying is this has only got fucking 95 views. What the fuck? This is a crazy battle. <laughs> this is a crazy battle. How's it only have 95 views? I get more of my shitty DJ mixes on SoundCloud. Y'all need to run this battle up in the whole channel because that's, that's disrespectful. 95 views is fucked. That's fucked. What the hell? Shout out for me, voice channel. Smash that yeah. like button. Smash that like button. Like and subscribe. This weekend, uh, J Black hosted the Two Real event. So there was a whole lineup of madness, which we only saw a couple of stories from at the time of when we filmed this video. Um, but yeah, we're super excited to see that. So big ups Jay Black and the team for putting that on. Uh, yeah, it's always important that there's people hosting the events and these, these uh, celebrations for the culture to get together. So yeah, shouts to you guys. We know it shut down at some point. We're not really sure what happened, but uh, yeah, the fort was there to make something magical. So thank you guys. Um, we want to know what happened though. Post that shit. Let us all know. We in Sydney and we're out of the blue, like out of the fucking whatever. We want to know what's going on. Give us the tea. Tea. But yesterday was the Light Feet Awards in New York. Okay, maybe two two days for us Australians. Us Australians, mate. But uh, nice. not versus Jay Wavy. I wish I could have seen that in person. Like, what the actual heck? On the Instagram stories, it looked mad like you all saw bits oh yeah i saw some bits i saw some some people talking shit about it <laughs> i saw man this battle's been like blowing up <laughs> facts and you know what these are like two of my favorite fucking light feed dancers so i'm so keen to see the footage fortunately i've only seen some of the jay wavy clips so far i haven't seen any of the other ones but damn that there, there was like one shoe trick moment thing that i saw that was like fuck so good. But like both of them, I'm a big fan of, to be completely honest. Like there was actually, no, nah, there was another one. I think it was J-Wave when he was hitting the ground. He's like, boom, 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 yeah, boom. Yeah, like yeah. bro is so light. And then like, yeah, Noah, I know he's not a rule breaker, but I kind of describe him as that because he really ventures out of light feet and then brings it back in. Um, see, I'm a fucking huge fan of them. So I can't wait to see the footage. Yeah, no, I'm just excited because I've only seen like little Instagram clips, you know, like the like couple seconds. So I'm excited to see like the whole thing and just... Yeah, I'm just gassed for that. So, yeah. I reckon they should come to Sydney as well. What do you reckon? I reckon they should definitely come to Sydney. Yeah. I reckon that Jay Wavy should text the text the footage to Kieran so we should watch it. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh. Woo! Um, <laughs> as well, at Light Feet Awards, we had the Shikeo tournament. I believe it's the first Shikeo. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, TKO, but female only. Um, wow. Big ups to <laughs> Lexi from Too Crafty. Uh, I... I assume you took the win from the celebrations I saw on stories. So shouts to Too Crafty, shouts to Lexi. You've been doing bits. Um, haven't actually met Lexi myself yet, so excited to see her on my next trip to New York. And the other fun part of the event is afterwards, we saw 40 posting on his story about who we would like him to battle. So it got all of us thinking and everyone's excited. And like, yeah, like, so who would you like to see 40 battle? <laughs> Yeah, I don't... 40 versus, like, E-Solo, I think, would be sick. Just because I think they're, like, quite different dancers. To, so to see how, like, they'd approach a battle to each other using their best stuff, I'm like, I'd love to see that happen. 40 versus Larry, I feel like now, in, like, where they are now, just seeing them both at Light Fest as well. Big ups to Kieran from always bringing the sick people over. But, um, yeah, just seeing them there, like, seeing them battle each other, I think, would be sick. So, yeah, that's my personal preference, but... What about you guys? For like all the different requests, I think the one that captured me the most was a fly boogie. I'd love to see that. I just think it would be, it'd be good energy, good heat. Um, again, very different dances. Fly is much more conceptual. 40's got the footwork. So you'd, it's one of those like, you'd have to be too good to 
not be ignored sort of thing. Like it'd have to just whatever their – because the styles are so different, their, their sets would just have to be so good to outshine the other so you weren't like, oh, how do you judge it? You just have to see like which one was the fucking best. Um, so that'd be good. I, I guess Fly would be the one I'd be most excited to see. But Also fucking against Hasmola. Let's get it. Yeah, 40 versus me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I'm trying to see. Just for the lols. Yeah. Perfect. That's that's it. <laughs> nah, I'm trying to I'm trying to see forty. He uses your footwork, so you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty pretty bad at it, so you might have to help me. But um, no, nah, I want to see I want to see forty versus Keenan. I don't know if Ooh, that's already. Happened. That's what I was gonna say. Ah ha ha! Now he's still gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, I want to see Damn. that just because I feel like their styles are so like the opposite. Like forties, obviously, like fucking fast, and Keenan can like slow it down to hardly anything and still be so fresh. So I just feel like that'd be a really interesting match. Yeah, say something else, bro. My favorites are 40 Keenan solo fly like. So yeah, I feel like everyone said them now. So I'm like, who else, who else, who else? Someone I don't see so much in like the main events, someone like Doc Jr. I think he's got mad footwork and his hat tricks. Like him labbing up for a 40 battle could be crazy too. But uh, I still think I want to see <laughs> Keenan or Fly uh, or Solo or all of them. Maybe it's a Royal Rumble. Chuck them all in the ring. They got to kill each other off. Oh, four to Rumble. smoke with them lot. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, can we make that happen, please? Um, 40 versus Joe Smooth. A five to smoke. I'm chucking Harry in there. Let's go. <laughs> you left me off the list of the. I know. I uh, know, the disrespect. Because <laughs> I'm in front of you, it's embarrassing. I get a bit shy to say you're my favorite when I'm like, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's cool, man, it's cool. To the next segment, uh, we were recently all guest battlers for the exhibitions at Rhythm of the Light. Shout-outs to Phil Easy. Yee, yee, yee. The reason that we're sat like this is because me and Kez aren't friends anymore after our battle, and then these two aren't friends anymore after their battle. Yeah. It was a dope event. Um, it really started the trip for this on a high, we got to see like bare light feet out in Melbourne. Um, yeah, really enjoyed myself. Just a uh, bit jet lagged out. <laughs> Melbourne came through, bro. Melbourne showed up. That was mad. Go Melbourne. Yeah, big shout out to Phil because like there has not been really like life in Australia is so new and small, globally speaking. Um, and I feel like Rhythm of the Light was the first, like, jump where we're like, oh, there's actually, like, a fucking scene in scene. Melbourne now. <clears throat> so shout out to Phil, shout out to everyone else who's making it happen there. Like, we're still in the beginning phases, but, like, yeah, it was really cool to see the dancers, like, especially some of the ones that have been there since the beginning of the Melbourne phase. Um, starting to get really good. I have to do a special shout out to the MVP of the weekend, Sweet Jay. Like, yeah. that motherfucker. Because Phil's been saying to me, he was like, yo, like, he's actually really good for a very long time. And then I feel like he really shined that weekend. Like, I feel like he stole the show. He was the first exhibition battle. I felt like he stole the show for the whole, yeah. the whole thing. Like, everyone was kind of just like, wow. So, um, but yeah, um, big ups to Phil. It was also really cool. They did like a, an all-style battle to Light Feet music. So um, that was really cool for the other styles in Melbourne to get introduced to Light Feet culture um, as, it stood, as it's understood in Melbourne currently. Shout out to Lama, the DJ. Um, so yeah, it was just really cool to be a part of and um, we're going to run it back because we're both gassed and tired and injured and all the things and I just don't think that was, um, yeah, that oh, definitely wasn't my best fucking rounds. Yeah, no, to be fair, like... It's <laughs> 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 cussing myself out, all good. <laughs> nah, they were sick, but I would just say like the first couple of days being here, yeah, like the jet lag, like in that battle, I was like, ah... But just being here, I was like, this doesn't even feel real. Like, how are we in Australia doing life here? Like, it was just sick. Um, yeah, again, like they said, big up Phil because the event was sick. Um, obviously, battling has. It was good. It was a push. So, yeah, I just think, like, it was so crazy to see, like, the level here as well because, obviously, I didn't really know much about, like, the Australian scene before coming. But, yeah, there's some dancers here which, like, a really high level already or if not I have so much potential so just being around you guys and like they're also like really sick guys as well like so the energy was just sick so yeah sick <laughs> sick <laughs> no I was tired she she gets to say that she was jet lagged but I don't really have an excuse for that. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah no nah, it was it was sick um it was my first time like ever getting to like choose my own song which 
was cool, but like the hype of the event was actually so hyped that like you couldn't even hear the music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which was like, you know, it goes both ways. It's mad being hyped, but like I pick songs that I could be like mad musical with and then couldn't even <laughs> hear it. So it's like, <laughs> but nah, it was, it was, a, it was a sick battle. Um, shout out like Diggy Hadley as well, because they fucking, Phew. they held it down. Yeah, it was just dope. Like, I'd never even like seen you or Diggy like dance in like person before, so that was like fresh. I've been watched like seeing you guys on the internet for so long. So, yeah, that's a good point. It was really Stalker. cool. To- <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point though, because we don't really get like international high level people over here, which like it just changes the energy of the room. Like obviously, we just try and hold it down at our level, but to have like you there, Diggy there, obviously this guy who can kind of dance, like having those people in the room, it's like. I don't know. It's just exciting. (laughs) (laughs) You kind of dance. I don't know. It's pretty good. Jokes. You're actually really good. But that's what I mean. Like, it was fucking really sick to have all you guys in the room, especially for Melbourne where it is so new. Like, I feel like there was a lot of all-style dancers there that just have zero clue about live feet, dance, culture, history, foundation, anything. Like, And then, like, after the event, they're like, what's the chance? Like, this, that, and the other. So it's, like, it's cool not just to get introduced but to see it at a high level and, like, yeah, all around. So, yeah, I feel you made all that shit happen. Fucking nice. Yeah, go Philip. Philip! Right, and then the I'm going to put this in bold because I'm proud of this shit. No one's going to see it except for us. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Look at the fucking peak on that shit. All right, so then um, was it yesterday, holy shit, yesterday we had light first times kapow battle times. Times. <laughs> times. It doesn't feel like yesterday. That's yeah. yeah, we multiplied our events. What? What's up? Um, yeah, it was crazy. So, you know, I think it was like the fourth kapow battle this year, which is crazy. Um, but it was the first one where we had more than like 16 entrants for light feet. We had people coming from New Zealand, um, Melbourne, Canberra, Perth, we had Arrow come from Singapore, obviously. Brizzy, yeah. Oh, yeah, we had someone from Brizzy there. Obviously, you you were battling representing the UK, so it was... Brizzy? Um, oh, my Is God. Brooke? Brooke, Brooke Weiland. Shout out, Brooke. Oh, man. Um, and so, yeah, so we did a 1v1 hip-hop, 1v1 light feet. So shout out Edwin who took out hip-hop. Shout out Phil Easy took out light feet. For the light feet prize, we actually created a belt. Um, so just for the fun, for the lols, where it's the Kapow for the World Lightweight Champion. Yeah, yeah, so he's going to come back and defend that ASAP. But um, that also means Phil got free flights to go represent us in the UK for Light Fest 2024. But um, that's got us all hyped. So we're hopefully all going to come over next year. No promises. We're broke freelance dancers. <clears throat> Um, <laughs> but we're going to try, you know what I mean? Um, as far as like, a, a, like my thoughts on the event, um, I was just so hyped to see so many people there. Uh, I felt like the level was really high. There were a lot of people that just really surprised me and shocked me on the day. Um, and again, it was really cool to have a lot of Sydney see um, light feet in its like in that context like that because some people see maybe like Harry or I do it at an all-star battle but obviously you don't get the chance you don't get the like the full spectrum of it so um yeah I was just really proud of the event I was stoked to have you there judging and for you there battling it was just yeah it was really special for me so thank you guys for being there no thanks for having us I'd say like the event was actually the energy was so high it was so smooth and like he literally did the MC in DJ in like all the organizing by himself which like I don't know, I've never seen myself, but, like, I don't know, sorry if <laughs> you do that as well. But, yeah, like, it was just sick, and, like, the event was, again, like, high level, like, really, really pushed me. Big up Phil as well for taking it in the final. I will be back. Nah. Uh, <laughs> but, um, no, nah, like, it was honestly, like, one of the sickest events I've been to, and, again, just being here and being around the people, like, they were so supportive, and there's really like a community out here. So yeah, I really enjoyed it and it was sick to be a part of it. So obviously thanks for having us as well. So yeah. Of course. Yeah, on the same like train of thought, shout out Kez for being the DJ and the uh, MC and the organizer and for not entering so that other people can win. (laughs) Cap, (laughs) cap. It was was sick, man. Kapow is like the best, the best platform for dance in Sydney, I reckon, and Australia. And eventually the world. So yeah. let's go. <laughs> I'm saying nothing but plugs. <laughs> Light fest too, though. Light fest too. Let's... That's all right. <laughs> nah, that's, <laughs> that's that's what's up. I don't know. Kapow. Fucking. It was so sick. The energy was crazy. It was, I think, the most live event. That's one of the most live events in Sydney. If not, it'd probably be Rhythm of the Light. 
That's so. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's not true. What am I saying? But you did oh, say. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. It was. It did feel like the cool thing about it as well. Like you brought up to me, like um, you were like, it feels like a very supportive environment for like beginner dancers and high level dancers. Like I don't know, that was something I was really proud of as well. I'm just gonna yeah, mention that. Like it was really cool to see people of all skill levels, but there was no. It didn't feel like there was a hierarchy in the room. It felt like everyone was included yeah. and supported. But and it's you see that. And there was no funk music, so... <laughs> we didn't have to dance to disco for once. Anyways. Uh, as an international light feet event, it's crazy to have more than 20 light feet entries. Um, when I went back to sort of check my scores of who's passing and who's not, it was already like, from my yeses, we nearly had enough already. So it's like, then I look at my like maybes and stuff. Like, it wasn't like there wasn't level. Like, there was enough people there was level and even in the uk like we, yeah, we've had light fest since 2017 but not every year the 1v1's been popping like that there's been years where the 1v1's been quite low or most people are there for 2v2 or something else like so to have that many people who are like i'm here to win i'm here to challenge myself in light feet internationally is yeah it's nuts and uh I can't wait for, well, for Phil to come and be a guest at Lightfest, um, see how the sort of international crowd views him then, like in without, uh, I guess, his home. And then also to see the rest of you sort of, whether in the UK or in New York, meet the New Yorkers and sort of see how the dance is like, because there's going to be the things you find easier and have your strengths at, the things that they have their strengths at. And I think, yeah, we're just in this space where beautiful shiz is happening and it's exciting. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to you as well because it's like we had the workshops um, two, over two days before the battle and so that obviously helped everyone kind of structure the dance. There were a lot of people who had done it for a little bit but like there's just like the little gaps and everything um, but you helped put that all together and so yeah, thanks for that because it is like this weekend, like Rhythm of the Light felt like the first of this, but then the Kapow event, it was like, oh, wow, we've like around Australia, we've got people who choose for it to be one of their, if not their main style. And now it's reaching a level where it's like, oh, it's kind of like on the level. Like I would like to see them verse people overseas. Like again, watching Phil take on some people in Europe or New York will be a fucking interesting. That kind of has got like a lot of content and he's starting to really like make things pop and like I remember he did like a Jono clap thing but instead of clapping he like hit the legs on the floor that moment I was like whoo like he's those moments are like going off um but yeah obviously your sets were crazy I thought your sets were mad the details in your shit bro is fucking sick and it's like you got mad swag Did I tell him about my career ending shoe trick yeah <laughs> has has tweaked <laughs> nah, I did a shoe trick and it ended somebody's career but it was my own career and yeah. We'll I'm, cut that out of the footage, I'm all good. I'm never doing that again. Blur it. Blur my face That's for those rounds. said something in your ear, but we won't bring that up. Oi! <laughs> That's past the paywall. Um, but yeah, I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all in all, to kind of wrap up the Life First Power, I was very proud of it. Um, I'm very excited to see where Australian light feet goes. Um, I think now there's got like people in different cities that are really holding it down. Um, it's like a healthy competition between everyone. And um, shout out Perth. yeah, shout out Perth. Sean holding it down by himself over there. <laughs> New Zealand, Andy's going back there. Samuel's going back there. Like got a message from Andy, shout out. Like he was just like, um, he, said, he said it was just like a sick weekend. He's just like 2 a.m. practicing as soon as he landed off the plane. So it's like, I don't know, this side of the planet, I think, um, yeah, I think it's got a lot of talent and I'm very excited to see them on some sort of international stage, especially some of the ones like Phil Harry, Hadley, um, Mazza, who wasn't even there. Um, even like Roman, Roman Edwin, like I'm very excited to see everyone like West Sydney, bro. We go West Sydney <laughs> inner West Sydney and then Rome CBD. But anyway, we're not going to get into fucking specifics right now. But anyways, yeah, that's, that's, I, I could chat about Australian Life Eat for fucking days. So I'm going to just... Yeah, sure. Shouts to Arrow for making the trip uh, from Singapore, like... I really kind of hope there's more of this kind of like link between like the Asian countries and Australia and like there's a lot of light feet happening this side of the planet. So it'd be beautiful to see more of that, whether it's going to events or just calling each other out or just just making stuff happen um, so that, yeah, shit can grow as well. But uh, I wanted to ask what's next for Australian light feet? 
um, just continue to grow. We're going to make sure that we get better. Um, I was actually going to say, uh, should we do some like matchmaking to finish off the episode? Like who like out of some of the Australian light feet dancers do you want to see against the UK dancers? Just as like a fantasy. Like again, I think to start off, Big H versus fucking Haz is a sick matchup. H is fucking, of that guy. I think you battle for the letter. Whoever loses has to drop the letter from their name. So it's either Big or it's fucking Asmula. Um, <laughs> but I just think that would be a sick matchup. I think, again, it's kind of like the thing you were talking about with um, fucking Kynan and um, 40, where it's like two different styles. Like, it'd be, it'd just be like, yeah, it'd be fucking crazy. Kynan, was that? Even. Fucking whatever. It's Kynan, bruh. It's the next evolution. Y'all need to catch up. <laughs> bruh, we're in a Sydney. We just get the spelling. I don't get the fucking... Anyways, um, so that's one I'd like to see. Is there any other ones that come to mind? I one, actually. But I don't know. Sweet J versus Liana. Ooh, I would like... Just because I think they're, like, both so spanky and, like, also have, like, sick dance. I would just love to see, like, that against each other. Obviously, big up Liana and both, like, not in a beefy way, but just, like, just to see that and view it, I think it would be mad. I want to see. I want to see Shaq star and Phil Easy. After watching that battle, I think like yeah, Shaq star spank versus like Phil Easy's content would be really interesting because Phil was starting to make those moments happen. Like yeah. Shaq, you're fucking so good, but I just think it would be good to test Phil against you in that regard. So Hadley is obviously sick of his hip hop and has all of these big blow ups and that like ugh, aggressive energy. So I'm thinking Shintastic. Like Whoa, that would be like a uh, boom, boom, boom. Like, cause Shin's the same. If someone gives him energy, he's immediately like he's he sees red. He's Ooh. like cool. So yeah, that would be a crazy battle. Damn, that would be a sick battle. What about these two? Who would you put these two against? You oh, we've got we've got his. Oh yes. Mm. Um, these guys rematch in. in <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely that. I don't know. Who would you put me up against? Or you said for who am I thinking of for cares? I was thinking like who would I like to see Jay battle here i think jay maybe is too bait because like we're talking about best in uk versus best in australia so rather than jay maybe i'm thinking ty oh, yeah. high oh, tide sick. um because you're both techie as shit like you love your tic-tac-toes like i think that could be a yeah, can i make it way i want to suggest manla versus not nice oh <laughs> that's lit I also was making jokes, Jay Bull. I'm gonna like steal your shoes when they're at the start before you do shoe tricks if we battle each other because you're gonna smoke me with that shit. So as soon as you get out there, I'm throwing those shell toes out the fucking front door. You can be searching for them in the battle. Fuck that. <laughs> you still will smoke me as well. You still just have the crazy full guy. Yeah, Damn, no those ankles sock are crazy. Yeah, <laughs> sock tricks. <laughs> Bro's like fucking boom, straight on the foot. <laughs> that's rich. Oh man, that's crazy. Cool. Well, that'd be all sick. Anyways. So, uh, I think that's that. And who you would like to see from Australia battling in Europe and who you'd like to see them against. Let us know also who you think Forty should be battling in his retirement match or whether it's just a big, heavy rounded blow up. The footage of all the events that we've just mentioned and shouts to getting this far. If you got this far, uh, you can comment. It's Mula. Uh, Hey, don't let now. You still got the H. I'm backing my boy. He's gonna keep the H. Big H, you got it coming. No, I'm joking. All right, okay. Don't like, <laughs> like, subscribe, light fest online. Comment, keep the H if you've got this far. And follow kapow.ftw on Instagram. You already know the vibes. <laughs>